Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about rationalization. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's have here the first three examples for this tutorial video. So we have here the direction simplify by rationalizing the denominators. Ano bang ibig sabihin when we say rationalizing the denominators? In simplifying radicals, guys, it is not allowed to express or to say that the answers in simplified form if the denominator of a given fraction has a radical. So we need to avoid radical sign or radical in the denominator. So what we need to do is to eliminate this radical sign. So basically, when we say rationalization or rationalizing denominators, basically that is eliminating the radical in the denominator. So how do we perform rationalization? So in this kind of example, 2 over square root of 3, we need to think of multiplier wherein when we multiply it by the square root of 3, it will give us a perfect square number. So an example done is that we will multiply 2 over square root of 3 by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3. What is the basic reason? Because when we multiply square root of 3 by the square root of 3, it will give you the square root of 9. And we know naman, diba, that the square root of 9 is a perfect square and we can get a whole number when we try to extract the square root of 9. Sir, why square root of 3 over square root of 3? Basically guys, bakit ganito yung multiplier natin? Yung pinakadahilan lang is simple lang. Itong square root of 3 natin over square root of 3 natin is the same as 1. Remember, di ba? In a fraction, if the numerator and the denominator are equal, that is only equal to 1. So, itong ginagawa natin ngayon na 2 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over square root of 3 is the same as 2 over square root of 3 times 1. Okay, let's continue. We have square root of 3 times square root of 3, we have square root of 9. And then for the numerator, 2 times the square root of 3, that is 2 square root of 3. Again, we're not yet done because we still have the radical in the denominator. Sir, is it okay to have a radical in the numerator? Yes. Ang bawal lang is yung denominator na magkaroon ng radical. So to simplify this and to finalize our answer, we have 2 square root of 3 over the square root of 9 which is equal to 3. And then try to observe if meron pa tayong pwedeng masimplify. And I can declare na ito din final answer natin. The final answer is 2 square root of 3 over 3. That's it, guys. Now, let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given here 10 square root of 2 over the square root of 5. Ano yung magiging multiplier natin? Our multiplier is square root of 5 over the square root of 5. Dahil ito yung kailangan natin eliminate. So, remember... When we multiply square root of 5 by the square root of 5, that is square root of 25. And for the numerator, simply copy 10. Then multiply these two radicals. Square root of 2 times square root of 5 is the square root of 10. So simplify natin to. We need to eliminate this radical in the denominator. Square root of 25 is 5. So we have now 10 square root of 10 over the answer here, which is equal to 5. And, kung observe nyo, this given fraction can be simplified also. Can still simplify. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Kasi makakancel natin ito, magiging 2 na lang ito. Ito magiging 1. So, our answer here is 2 square root of 10. Because 2 divided by 1 is 2. Copy square root of 10, and this is our final answer. Okay? So, I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung example number 1 and number 2 natin. We're in, dito yung case natin dito. Explain ko lang ha. 
For number 1, we have a single denominator or single term sa denominator. Same with number 2. Kung observe nyo ngayon, in number 3, this one is quite different or this one is different from number 1 and number 2. Where in dito guys, our denominator is a binomial. So sir, paano natin gagawin to? Do we need to multiply this using square root of 2 over square root of 2? Kapag multiply mo to by square root of 2 over square root of 2, hindi mo matatanggal yung radical. So meron tayong concept ng conjugate. Okay, gamitin natin yung concept ng conjugate. Conjugate. Okay? So, ang gagawin mo lang naman dito, since meron kang binomial dito, if you have 2 plus square root of 2, ang conjugate nito, ang mag kasi ang gagawin natin dito, is we need to multiply this by the, its conjugate. Ang conjugate niya is ito. 2 minus square root of 2. Yan yung conjugate. Sir, what if naman, ito ay ano, 2 minus square root of 2. Ibig sabihin nyo, ng conjugate niya is 2 plus the square root of 2. Nakuha po ba yan? Ang ilagawa mo lang, you're copying the first and second term. Binabago mo lang yung sign o kailangan mo lang ilagay yung opposite sign. So right now, for this problem number 3, ang magiging multiplier natin is ito. 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 minus square root of 2. So sir, how are we going to do this? Siyempre, simple lang. Ang gagawin mo dito guys, here, 3 times 2 minus square root of 2, you will use distributive property. Oops. Error to. Continue natin sa baba. 3 times 2 minus square root of 2. Over this one, 2 plus the square root of 2 times 2 minus square root of 2. So, isa-isa natin eh. For the numerator, 3 times 2, that is 6. 3 times negative square root of 2, that is minus 3 square root of 2. Over. Sir, paano naman po ito? As you can see, meron tayo itong pattern na to is ano? Uh, difference of ano? So, I mean difference of ano ito? A difference of 2, two squares yan. Ito ang pattern niya is ito. Saan so, ko ba pwede ilagay? Ito. That is the same as A squared minus B squared is equal to A minus B times a plus b. Ayan yung pattern niya. So as you can see, pwede natin sila pagsamahin. Ito siya. Ito, 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 ito. So pwede natin sila. Pag minultiply natin sila, I, actually, you can use foil method, pero mas mabilis to. So mangyari lang, copy mo yung first term. 2. I-square mo siya. Minus, copy mo yung second term. Square root of 2. E square lang din siya. So what will happen here? Ito. Simplify natin tong numerator. This is 6 minus 3 square root of 2 over. When you simplify, 2 square, that is 4, minus, ito naman, when you square, square root of 2, makakancel natin to. Cancel, cancel. Ang matitira na lang is yung ating 2. So, we have here 2. Okay? Sir, bakit ang hinto itong ano, natin square root of 2 o raised to 2? Meron tayong property na when a radical or when a square root is raised by 2, makakancel yung radical sign. Matitira na lang ay yung radical. So, we can still simplify this. We have here 6 minus 3 square root of 2 over 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. Yung ngayon, i-check mo muna kung kaya mo pa bang i-simplify itong denominator mo. Itong fraction mo. So you have 6 minus 3 square root of 2 over 2. And based sa akin nakikita, this one is the final answer. Pag finactor out natin yung common dito, wala rin mangyayari. We can, we can eliminate item number 2. Okay? 
So I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung mismong lesson natin on how to do this kind of topic and let's move on sa ating example number 4. For example number 4, medyo mahirap to, pero don't worry. Then this is gonna be hirap. Follow lang natin yung steps. Ano ang conjugate? For the conjugate the conjugate of 2 minus square root of 7 is 2 plus square root of 7. Ito ngayon yung multiply, magiging multiplier natin. So, multiply natin to by 2 plus square root of 7 over 2 plus square root of 7. So, dito, definitely, since pares binomial yung ibabaw mo, you have 1 plus square root of 7. So, mahaba yung space natin times 2 plus square root of 7 over we can use difference of two squares copy the first term 2 again pwede kang gumamit na foil method dito pero mat matatagalan ka kaya yung pattern na lang natin copy the first term square it minus copy the second term then square it now tayo natin maganda mag foil method ha sa numerator pwede 1 times 2 is 2 then 1 times the square root of 7 is plus square root of 7. Then naman yung inner terms. Square root of 7 times 2, that is plus 2 square root of 7. Lastly, square root of 7 times the square root of 7 is square root of 49. Or parang ano lang siya. Square root of 7 squared over. Ito naman. 2 squared is 4, okay, minus square root of 7 raised to 2. Property natin, we can eliminate your radical and this exponent of 2 magiging minus 7. Now, fix your numerator. Combine like terms, we have here 2. Then ito, common to ha, common to dalawang to. These two terms, ito, saka ito. Meron tayo itong invisible 1. So, when we add square root of 7 plus 2 square root of 7, that is simply plus 3 square root of 7. Here, your square root of 49, that is plus 7 over negative 3. So, as you can see, meron tayong pwedeng i-fix. Okay? Dito ako manilalagay yung solution natin. 2 plus 7 is 9. Then we have plus 3 square root of 7 over negative 3. Now, this part, pwede pa itong simplify. Kasi, when we continue this here, meron tayong common, which is 3. So we can factor out 9 plus 3 square root of 7 by 3 times 3 plus square root of 7. Sir, where did you did you get 3 times square 3 times 3 plus square root of 7 dito nang galing factors ng numerator over negative 3 So basically meron kayong makita pa rin cancel out here we can cancel out 3 and 3 we have here negative 1 So mangyayari dito ngayon meron tayong negative 1 So we have our numerator as 3 plus square root of 7 divided by negative 1 Basically, our answer is simply negative 3 plus square root of 7. Ito na mismo yun, guys. This is the final answer for item number 4. Actually, pwede nyo pang i-multiply ito. It will become negative 3 minus square root of 7. Pwede pa yun, okay? So, I hope, guys, you learned something from this video on how to do rationalization or simply eliminating the radical and then in insert na rin natin yung concept ng conjugate. So again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!